my friends. Welcome back to my channel and part three of uh, Tabitha. This is our uh, Tabitha coloring page, grayscale, um, and I printed the light version on my Spring Hill digital cardstock. So we're going to work on the um, flowers today and we'll see how far we get um, before a reasonable amount of time goes by. Um, so I think before I get started with the flowers, I want to get the ear in um, that, that I forgot to do. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, by putting some color down where the um, the stalk the uh, the wheat I don't think that's wheat but the you know this dry stuff <laughs> this dry stuff here um, I want to get some some um, some of the stalks in. So I'm just going to put that in first and then I'll work um, around around it. Because I'm afraid if I do the ear I might accidentally cover the stalk stem and I don't want to do that. So think now we can work this I think is actually gonna be st stuff stuff <laughs> so all right um, we'll go into what colors I used for that in a minute I'm sorry I was I was not thinking about what I was doing um, but really any 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 similar color will work but we'll um, I'll reiterate those colors um, again in just a sec, in just a little bit when we when we get to that. So I'm just putting some chestnut in here. Um, let's see, this actually is a... So um, my suggestion when you're... Because um, I just, like just now, I ran into that for me. <laughs> There's a, oh, <laughs> excuse, excuse me. Oh, goodness, I couldn't stop that one. Um, there was this little tiny petal um, that's actually on the original that was so light that it didn't show up in the light grayscale. So what I would do um, before you get started and what I often do is I'll go through with my pencil and very lightly mark in any areas that need to be um, not lost. Um, and then you can either just leave your pencil, um, you know, leave the pencil marks there or when, when the time comes to color it, you already you know that it's there you know what you're supposed to do and you can come in with your eraser and just give it a little gentle lightening of that pencil if you don't want it there and that will help you when you go to color if you do that first then you don't have to worry about accidentally coloring something that you didn't want to color realizing too late that you put the color where you didn't want it so if you go through and just make a few little pencil marks ahead of time, that will help. All right, so that was chestnut. I went straight into the light um, peach, and I think that that's going to be just fine. I don't, um, I don't think I need any regular peach. Um, so. Pretty easy to just take care of that. A little bit of white. And I'm gonna just call that. I'm gonna call that good. Alright, I'm gonna start at the top, work my way down. So um, let's do what I um, had just mentioned. So if you look at 
your um, the reference photo or the darker grayscale version, either one, um, you'll see that there's um, that this is a like a tie. And so I'm just going to come in and lightly sketch in what needs to be there. Let's see, this does come up. Sometimes it's really, really, really light. Because I try and I try and make the light versions light enough so that you guys have as much creative freedom as you desire. But sometimes that really makes for light. Too light of pages sometimes. But that's another reason why I started including the reference, the colored version of my page in the PDF because I don't want anybody feeling frustrated because they can't see what the image is supposed to have. Okay, so there's this whole little section here that I did not color on the face. I made it go square. And I'm not sure if that was right or not. So I'm just gonna put in a couple of little petals to fill in that. I think that'll work. looks okay. All right, let us begin. So I'm going to start by putting some white, even though I'm not, even though this isn't going to be white, I'm going to take my white and I'm going to put it on all of these little dots so that when I go and I put my yellow down, the white will act as a resist and these will stand out a little bit better. Um, you can't really see what you're doing on the white, <laughs> um, but I'm still gonna do it. Just hope that Okay. It's a little easier when you get down into the grayer parts because it's a little more obvious then. <laughs> Except you can't see where you put it and where you haven't, so you kind of have to just cross your fingers. Okay, so for the center of the flower, I think I'm gonna want, let's try canary yellow, um, goldenrod, maybe some mineral orange, I'm not sure, um, and espresso. And we'll just start light and work our way darker. So I'm not putting a lot of pressure on here. I'm hoping that the putting the white down first is going to help. It's hard to tell right now because it is tinting, you know, the, the yellow is tinting the white, but I'm hoping when we go a little darker it'll show up better. If not, I can always use Posca or, you know, any paint pen. Okay, that was quite... That's quite yellow, so definitely need to darken that up a lot. So I'm going to switch to goldenrod. Yeah, it 
doesn't seem like putting that white down did a lot of good. So if I can maybe avoid some of those areas. I want some of this in here. I think what I'm going to do is, since I'm pretty sure if I just go around it, it's just going to cover up the white. I don't, I don't think putting that white pencil down did much this time. At least it didn't, it doesn't feel like it, so. We'll try that. darker. Okay, I want to get the inside here done. The inside is actually um, a mixture of green, so I'm going to put some lime peel in here. And then come in with espresso. I don't want the green to be very obvious. I just want a little bit of it. And I'm going to kind of color around it a little bit. Just almost dotting things. Just some black. All right, let us, I'm debating on if I want mineral orange or if I want to go straight for, no, I kind of like that. So let's do some mineral orange, right? Yes, mineral orange. <laughs> I have so many oranges and yellows pulled out. I have to make sure. I'm going to concentrate the majority of the color on the bottom part of the um, flower, the bottom part of the sunflower head. I want a little color, but not as heavy. All right, let's <clears throat> let's do some espresso. Little teeny tiny circles, and just just kind of feather it up into trying to. Avoid some of those bits that we want to stand out. All right, I'm going to want a lot more, I think, of this but I want to do the petals first. So, I want to see what, I don't 
don't want to blend that with black. It might not even really need to be blended. <clears throat> we'll add some more in there after we get the petals on here. So I'm going to start. <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm a. I, I just have a hard time not coloring the paper and letting that be white. <laughs> it's just really hard for me. Um, yeah, that's just really hard, but we'll make it work. So this is <clears throat> canary yellow. And I did some, I did do, go ahead and do some white. And I, I'm debating on whether I want to do, let's do like a few petals at a time rather than all of them together. That way I can adjust if I need to. If I'm not happy with something, I can I can change it. All right, let's uh, let's try some goldenrod. some mineral orange. Some espresso. a little bit more. All right, let's try just blending it all with the um, canary. Sorry, I know I'm in canary yellow. Go with that, keep going, and um, make a decision as far as if I want to add more later. Goldenrod. And the canary yellow on that one. White. <clears throat> Golden rod. Actually, I'm going to turn my paper here.
Just curious what happens if I blend with lemon yellow instead of the canary yellow. It's a little bit brighter. Um, not as um, orange and rich. So I might throw that in the mix as well. It's definitely, um, the colors definitely look different depending on whether you're using white or tan. So keep that in mind when, um, when you're looking at my reference photo. Um, my original, it was drawn on the tan paper and so your colors are not, they're, they're gonna look different. But that's okay. I just don't want you to like, get frustrated saying that you know your colors look although I guess it doesn't really matter if you're following along with me on YouTube you know that so <laughs> sometimes we forget though and we just look at something and compare and it's like nope you can't compare figure out later what I what color I want to use for shadows if I want to use like a, a gray or if I want to use let's keep using goldenrod in here like a I wouldn't use a cool gray maybe like a French gray because that's like a brown a brown gray okay lemon yellow or I could use espresso, maybe. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna go straight in with the um, goldenrod in the center here. So by adding your colors, um, strongly in the middle of the, of the petal, like say right here, and keeping the outer edges lighter. Um, it kind of automatically creates a petal that is kind of folding in on its, you know, kind of squished, squished is not the right word, um, bent curving in because it makes this the shadow and it makes the outside edges more highlighted. <laughs> okay. Uh, white. I'm going to try and keep these next two petals a little bit lighter and see if I can help to like in the center of the petal see if I can make that look more like uh, you know the sun is hitting it or the light is hitting it there we'll see goldenrod white again. Um, maybe some mineral orange. Okay, 
So like here's another one where the petal is not opened up all the way yet, so it's kind of curled. What was this? Golden Rod? I'm sorry. Golden Rod. And I'll blend with Lemon Yellow. Golden Rod. Lemon Yellow. Try not to cover up. In fact, let's do some white. All right, let's do. Let's get some golden rod in here. Very yellow. I think I might add some more of that. Lemon yellow. Okay, two more petals and then we'll add the espresso.
Do some goldenrod. Mineral orange. Okay, let's do some espresso. I think I want the center of the flower to be a lot more orange. This is goldenrod. Try some espresso kind of on the bottom half of some of these little, and even if you have to just add it without having anything there, it'll still give the illusion that it's that that little circle that is casting a shadow and making it look more three-dimensional. Kind of like what we did over here, but... I think that's okay. Let's move on to the next one. It's going to look a lot different when the... Um, dark background comes in to play. 
So I think I'm gonna leave that alone. We are not gonna get very far. <laughs> it took me a half an hour to do one flower. How is that even possible? Uh, I don't know. It just is. Okay, so looks like my espresso didn't my pencil, my glue didn't stick, so my pencil is a little wobbly, but I taped it, so it's 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 good enough for now. All right. Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? I want to... Oy. All right, so I'm going to start real lightly with some light umber. And I think some I guess goldenrod will be okay. Okay, the center of this one I want to be more more black. But I'm gonna so I'm gonna put dots of black in here. And then my espresso. I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I think we're just going to do this whole this whole um, center flower just by doing lots of little circles. I broke all of them. I was hoping that that um, gluing the pencil on the back would help. But I just, it's not staying. All right, let's put some. Hmm. Okay, goldenrod in here. I think I want it to be a little more orange. A little more espresso in here. And actually, I think I'm going to make tight, swirly motions on the bottom edge of this one, too. It's darkening this bottom edge. All right. Let's do some lime peel. Am I ready for lime peel yet? I don't think I am. I'm changing my mind. Something's still not quite. Let's put a little espresso on the inside of this. This doesn't seem like there's enough 
color in here yet. Um, some more light umber. All right, that works. I'm good with that. All right, so we're gonna need grays. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the shadows on these petals first, and then fill it all in with light. And hopefully that will give the look. So, um, 70% cool gray. And you really want to make sure that we feather it out. Some of these actually could be a little bit more gray, the petals that are really in shadow. I was going to use 10%, but I think I'm going to up. I'm going to up it to 20. So, 20%. And that'll kind of go in the center. Or your little um stripes. They're not really stripes, they're more like shadows, but they're shadows from where the petals are. Not perfectly flat. And that will show up a lot better after we get the background on too, because obviously white flowers on a white background does not show up so well. because I'm pushing harder than I normally do with pencil. Still want to be careful where that white pencil is going because if you get it to, if you get it off of the petal line, um, when you go to put your, your um, ba the background on, 
um, that white pencil is going to show if it's not within the lines. Okay, lime peel. flower went a little faster. <laughs> All right. These. Um, okay, I'm going to do these first because I don't want to accidentally put the um, eucalyptus color on top of the yeah, I think that's going to work out just fine. So when I did these, like literally this is exactly what I did. Just made little... Now the problem with that is... <laughs> this is now not going to show up. I'm not quite sure how to do these um, on white paper. I'm going to put some white down. All right, let's try that and see if. And then I'll kind of try and just go around and in so I'm not completely covering up the white. I don't want them to be white, but I also don't want them to be a solid tan color, so. This is um, peach beige, by the way. It's um, not as yellow as the regular beige. I'm gonna come in with Probably espresso, only because that's the color that we've been using throughout, and there's no reason not to stick with that. First, though, what do I want? I want some kelp green. Because these are not completely dried out. They're on their way to drying out. Actually, I didn't put this green on all of them. I only did it on a couple, so I should probably slow down. All right, let's go, let's switch to the espresso. And then that comes in like you would come in with hair. So little triangular bits to push the 
center of each one of these little grass seed things. We want to push those in so that it looks I keep using that word three-dimensional so it looks more three-dimensional. I think I missed some beige on this one. I want to get that on there. Peach beige. Looks like I completely I'm going to call that good. Um, I can always add more to it, but I want to leave it for now. Okay, so um, I don't know why. I just want to probably be using white if I was on my other paper. All right, let's do the eucalyptus. Um, so for that we use jade and celadon green. Um, I am going to go ahead and try and hope that adding these in white first will help make them show up better. I don't want them to be, you know, super bright. I just want them to be subtle, so that hopefully will work. Okay, I'm going to start with Celadon. Sharpen it. So I think on this white paper, if I had done the the, the um, eucalyptus first, which is what I normally would have done on my brown paper, but if I had done it first and I had covered up any of these little grassy bits, I, I don't believe that I would have easily been able to add them back in over the top because we know how much of a pain it is to get light colors to show up over darker colors on white paper. So in doing them first, we kind of prevented that from happening. Okay, if I take Jade. It's like darker. I think jade is a little darker. Although it could just be I'm pressing harder. <laughs> okay. 
This is all going to come together after the background goes in, I really think. A lot of this feels like I can't, like it's not showing up the way I would want it to, but... if I put some of this pale sage on top, does it? Yeah, it shows. I like it. Let's add a little bit of that. Yeah, I like that a lot. it on. I guess the first one I used was jade. It doesn't matter. They're interchangeable. Do whichever one you want. I'm going to throw some pale sage on there too. Do some pale sage. I like the combination of those. It makes it a little more interesting than just being a solid color. Because really no, nothing is just a solid color. I almost want to add some gray in here, too. I might do that at the end. Okay. Sage. Not sure what color I want to use for the stem, I think. There's a lot of these stems that have a little bit of a red tint to them in real life. This is the time of year when I would go out into my backyard and cut some eucalyptus branches. Just put them in a big vase and stick them in the kitchen. <laughs> how that um, how 
that looks. I'm going to call those good for now. Just wondering what would happen if I blended with 20% cool gray. Or actually 10% cool gray instead of white. Just It doesn't necessarily need it all over. Just anywhere where, where I feel like it needs a little bit of something something okay so I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my silhouetted leaf in and I am gonna use black um, I just like the way it looks um, it adds you know that that deep color that I really feel like I want so um, I'm going to use my marker for that. I'm going to use my um, Alt Art Alternatives Dual Tip Marker. Any black um, water-based marker that you have that you like will work. And I'm just going to pray that I don't screw it up. Because <laughs> that does happen. And all this in here, this is all black. And I'm using marker because it makes the marks so much easier than if I were to try and do it with pencil. And so much darker right from the beginning. This is all dark in here. I'm already liking the page better with the black. Um, really needed that to provide some good contrast. Dark green, like a really dark green would, would look nice too. Or if you want to just make them look like real leaves, just give them a little bit of a, you know, the little, the uh, veins, put some veins in there and color them like real leaves if you want to.
feel like I can actually get a lot more precision than with a pencil, too. I bet you my white pencil will show up on top of this black marker, though. Which will be nice, because then I can come in and, and add the little... These um, grasses have these little long things that come off of the grasses. That I was thinking I wasn't going to be able to have in here, but I think I will on top of the black. probably should have sped through this and then maybe would have had time to do the big sunflower at the bottom. We'll still be able to do the sunflower in the background in one video though, so I think this is still going to only take four. Seems to be about the average. if I would like to take some black. Just a little bit in the darkest shadows here. If it's not, it's going to become one. So I'm going to take my pencil. Sometimes I like having those lines showing and sometimes I don't. It just depends. 
in this case I like it because it right now on the white background I I need a little bit of visual clarification of where these petals are and then once the dark background gets added I think that that will just completely hide on the other hand, sometimes the pencil marks are nice because it kind of makes it look artsy. <laughs> you know, like sketched. You can see the sketch marks. All right, let's see. I'm just curious. Yeah, they show up on top of that black um, marker. So they might show up on top of the um, brown oil pastels. We'll have, we'll see. See, see. Again, I just want this to be a little bit darker. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I am fairly happy with this. I'm gonna leave this be until we do the background and, um, and then I'll add any more to it that I feel like I need to. Um, if you have any areas of your page where you got paint, uh, not paint, sorry, um, pencil on areas that are going to be light you just come in with your eraser and clean that up if you can before before next time before we get started on the um on the big sunflower because it's it's we're at we're at an hour and 15 minutes so and you know backgrounds go pretty quick so i think um we will stop here and we will um finish up on the next one. I probably could do these really quick. Let's let's just do these really fast. I always it's always something, right? I always find something I want to I want to just get that in there before um before it's too late and I cover over them accidentally. So that was peach beige. This is light umber. I'll just get our stems in. Now on my um, on my original, the string is like is light. It's like raffia. Um, I don't know if I can pull that off on this white paper. What color would I use? We could try just beige. Let's see what that looks like. See, that's just too, it's too yellow. Um, I don't know what to do here. Because I know what I want and I don't know if I can achieve it. So, Yes, I am pushing really hard with my white. It's a bad habit when I'm on white paper. <laughs> Maybe because I think, oh, if I push harder, I'll be able to see it. Yeah, no. It doesn't work that way. All right. I know what I want. I want um, this. I want, what is that? <laughs> what is this color called? I'm having a total... Um, brain, I call them brain farts, but that's kind of rude. Um, uh, beige Sienna, that's what this is called, Beige Sienna. And we'll put that in here on top of the white, kind of underneath it and above it. And then I think... Oh, I didn't put any. I'm just going to use it to do the hair here, which I failed to. That way it's at least outlined so that when I go to do the um, 
background I can see. I can see what I've done. So hopefully I won't color over it. But I like that. I, that color works for me. I'm going to do a little bit more dark. Real quick, just a little bit more. So espresso. And that's it. We'll call that good. All right, guys. That's it for today. We will keep going next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Big love to you all. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Bye.